Alright everybody, welcome back. I got a new box here. Mama Kelly ordered it for me. It's all a label. I think I know might know what it is, but it's my birthday today. She kind of mentioned this to me, so she ordered it. Wasn't expecting it. I hope it's what I think it is. She kind of asked me, but Get a knife out here and see what we got in this big old box here. Bet she's gonna want me to cook some more dinner. Some food. Oh. Ugh. Shipping label. You don't need that. Oh my goodness, it is, folks. Heavy. Ugh. Let's see, can we see that on camera here? Oh, sorry. Cray court. Oh. Let me get this big box out the way. We'll be right back. All right, look at here, guys. Gorilla's Joy. Cast iron grading equipments. Uh, Foreign Language Plus X Award, Best Product 2015-2016. This is a crate court. Hope I showed her the right one, the 22.5 inch. I don't see the dimensions on it. Uh, I'm going to have to order a few of these things. Definitely going to need the lifter. Like the ballistic griddle, maybe the pan or the hot stone or the griddle. Check them out. It's not dishwasher safe. It's cast iron, folks. Got to keep it oiled up. Hopefully, we can keep it from rusting too bad because my stuff stays outside 24 7. Keep it under the tent. Let's uh, figure out how to open this thing. Oh, it just opens from right here. There we go. The tape holding it. Oh man, that thing's heavy. Oh, it wasn't held together good. Seen some they were tied together and grace on this one. Oh, at least two of them. I guess they're in shipping it. Fell apart a little bit there. All right, cast iron. Man, this thing's heavy, though, guys. Oh. I'm hoping this will fit. Uh, this will oh. Sorry about the noise there. Yeah, see, that one ripped off. Go ahead and get these ones off of here. Uh, all right, looks like this 22.5 inch. I got the Weber 22. It's actually a 22.5, should fit. Nice cast iron. Not seeing any rust on any of these pieces. Super heavy, super duty. Got all the sections you can take out. I'm definitely gonna have to order that little tool to lift these out if anything's hot. Oh man, Mama Kelly did good with this for my birthday. Can you guys guess how old I am? Let's see if you guys can guess down below in this video how old I am today. September 8th, Tuesday. But I want to go season this up a little bit more. I think we'll uh, fire the Weber kettle up. Put a little olive oil on it. I want to get some peanut oil. Peanut oil is probably the best thing. I'll look around and see if I got some. I don't know if I do or not. Try to keep this thing going good, clean. I think I got an idea what to cook on it tonight. For my birthday. Here's what Mom and Kelly got me here. 
and we'll be rocking and rolling tonight and seeing if we can get some good seared steaks. But let's go get it burned in a little bit. All right, guys, I just got some old used charcoal that was already still left in the kettle here. We're gonna get these ones here burning. I know, I know, don't do it on your patio. That's not nice. It ain't gonna work right. Look here, they also got me a fishing rod lighter. Ain't that cool? Kids are always thinking of me. I'm still waiting, guys. Can you guess how old I am? Come on. Down in the comments. I'm old enough that I'm reusing charcoal, folks. That's how old I am. <laughs> Just a quick burn in. When I cook dinner tonight with this great court grill. Oh man, these grapes are gonna be awesome for what I've got planned. Found some steaks out there. We got them grilling up good. Let's let this get fired up. We'll bring the crate cord out. All right, sorry about the lawnmower in the background, folks. Got over here mowing a circle, driving around like an idiot. Gotta have those riding lawnmowers nowadays, you know? So, it's taking about 15 minutes to get these old coals lit up good. They're looking like they're lit up good. Spread these all across the top of those other old coals. We don't let this, I got the uh, bottom vent all the way open. And let these go for a little bit. Let it start getting good and hot and bring the cray cord out. All right, guys, let's see if I can get this on here without burning myself. Oh! Great quartz on there. It'd be easier if I had to take out a couple of little things there. She's burning good and hot. The towel here, olive oil on it. Burning good. Get it wiped down. Get her seasoned good. Mama Kelly got it for me. I gotta keep it in shape, folks. I ain't in shape, but you're gonna yell at me. I let this thing rub. So I've been getting a lot of cast iron pans and stuff here recently. So we can do some more cooking of some cast iron. Let me grab the top, get the top put on. Let me let this go for a little while. Top's on. Bottom vent's fully open. Top vent's fully open. We just let this thing run and burn hot for a little while. Get it uh, seasoned in good. It was so hot. Whew. I almost burnt my hands trying to do that. I think Mama Kelly got me something good. Can't believe she did it. Love her. She's a great wife. And I thought a few months ago she was asking me, she, you watching that thing about the Weber kettle cast iron grates? What was that thing called? I told her, she's like, well, what size kettle you got? Which, you know, if I, you know, if we was to buy one, how much is it going to cost? And I told her I wasn't going to buy it. I told her what I needed, but she went ahead and got it for me. It's my birthday, guys. So. You guys say thanks to Mama Kelly. We got some great cooks on this now. With the Weber, Smoky Mountain, and Pit Boss over here on the other side. So let's let this get burned in for a little while and we'll be back. All right, guys. I think I got this cooked in pretty good. It's almost up to 600 degrees. Get these old coals burn off. 
and go get these steaks ready. Fortunately, found some things out, but hey, next video we're going to have some 24-hour marinated steaks for tomorrow night. See you next time. Thanks for watching. If you don't mind, click the subscribe button down on the bottom, and we'll see you next time.